Alright everyone, this is the last simple one before we get into the meat of it. So welcome back to the Iron Harvest Platinum series, where we break down the secondary and bonus objectives in a quick rundown of tips and tricks to get you your fancy, fancy platinum medals. Also, if there's a particular mission you're having trouble with and you'd like a guide, feel free to let me know in the comments and we can jump around out of order a bit. Though I do intend to have a guide for each mission. Two out of our three challenges are quite easy. Don't lose any mechs, pretty self-explanatory, and don't touch any setup weapons. No touching! Barrels we will tackle to as we get to them. So let's start off by heading west to our first base. Don't start barrel hunting yet, there aren't any till we get to the mech, so don't sweat it. A little fun trick here is you can actually capture the flag without even engaging in combat. It doesn't really do anything, but it's still kind of fun. You have to take on the Rusviets, but it always amuses me anyway, so I like to do it. After that, grab a grenade since we are allowed to use those, and with your cannons you can take the Colacol Patrol pretty easily, but feel free to skip it and go sneaky style instead. Keep in mind that as Polani, you should be trying to engage from your superior rifle range and from cover when you can. In close range with the Vanguard and their shotguns, you can take big damage and potentially lose a squad if you're not careful. As you head east, you can take the southern bridge to avoid the light machine guns, or you can head straight in with those double grenades and show them why those sandbags aren't gonna help them. Clear out the base at the top and you're good to go for your second flag. From here, just head down the hill to the east and take the small wooden bridge up towards the objective marker for the mechs. But don't engage directly, go the long way around, and as you'll see, there's a couple barrels here for our first attempt to get some kills. We need eight in total, so don't sweat it if you don't get a good hit here. There are several more opportunities coming at the train station. After you've had your barrel fun, capture the mechs, and if you want, grab some NG tools here for repair. Alright, now onto the train station. On the east side here, we'll find the mother load of barrel locations. I try to bait this squad just north of the barrels down into it, and the enemy will actually try to take cover around the trek full of explosives. Those fools! Sometimes you can even get 8 kills right here! It looks like in this instance we got 6 or so because my rifles wouldn't shoot fast enough, but we'll throw a couple more good locations in as well. Before you go any further, I suggest using a couple grenades to take out the MG so you can run around the base freely, and there are quite a few med kicks around as well, so you can really goof off a bit while trying to lure infantry into your booby traps of barrels. There are a few more good barrel spots throughout the train station that should each net you a kill or two. Add those to the five or more you can get with the truck and you should be well past your eight kill objective. Go ahead once you're ready and capture your train station flag and we'll start in on the last battle. Here I'd say to just throw down mines everywhere, they give you a ton of iron to play with so you may as well use it. I'd like a line of sandbags for my light machine guns as well and you can find light machine guns down here southwest of the flag. Once the battle begins you can largely watch the fireworks, the only trick here is to make sure your mechs stay healthy. Wave 1 and 2 are pretty easy, and a little thing to keep in mind is to not skip the cutscene. As you see in my run through, Lek and his troops won't actually have had time to get in position for the battle. If you do accidentally hit skip, I do all the time, just pull your mech back and let Lek's Rough Riders come in and take the front line and add some fire support once they're taking fire. And that's about it! From here the Polani missions definitely get more open and some pretty tough challenges start showing up too. So stick around and we'll make sure you've got all the best briefings for your platinum metal needs. If you enjoyed the content or found anything useful here, as always, feel free to leave me a comment and hit all those YouTube buttons so you can find out when the next mission guide arrives.